over turn four there. When he gets uh, over to seven, I think he's really going to start to heat it up so he can go across that alternate start finish line that we showed you earlier um, just off turn nine. So here he goes, starting to build that speed. And then you'll see as he goes left through the S's right here, he should start to try and pick up the pace right about now and uh, not, not quite sure what Shane is doing right now. Um, I'm not either. Well, it, as he's getting up to speed or, or whatever might be going on here with the 97, Austin Hill was able to jump up to second on the board just in front of his teammate Jesse Love. You think this is a strategy play, Regan, where he knows the tires uh, are going to have a little heat in them and maybe he'll... Uh, Maybe he'll have this lap just to warm him up a little bit. I would say at this point, that's got to be the only thing. Third As we saw, he stayed stayed on the track and is still uh, out there getting some heat. Maybe getting some heat in the brakes as well, yeah. some things like that, so that he knows how consistent they're going to be into the corner, exactly what he's going to have when he does make that uh, first up-to-speed lap. And you see him in the car there adjusting the belts, getting ready. That, that gives me a sign that he's saying, okay, it's almost go time. I'm going to pull these belts down just one more time and get ready for it. Based on what we've seen out of him in the last year or so, I would not be nervous at all about what he's going out and trying to accomplish. I'm sure he's got a great game plan and is going to be fast once he cuts it loose. There's, there's going to be a lot of drivers watching this lap, especially in the next group, as well as this group. They're going to probably get a number to know exactly where they need to be. But what I like that I see right now, that's Josh Williams, his teammate in the 11. And now we hear Shane starting to pick it up right now. This is a little bit of strategy, I think, in terms of maybe helping Josh Williams get just a little better lap. You put the rabbit out in front. You go <laughs> chase the rabbit. It makes it easier as a driver that doesn't have as much road course experience as Shane Van Gisbergen to go out there, follow him, try to keep up with him. And uh, yeah. if you do that, if you're if you're even remotely close, Michael, it's probably going to work out well. That's a great plan until that little white car in front of you just gets smaller and smaller <laughs> and drives away from you. And then you get really frustrated because you're like, I know I can do this, but Shane is such an expert at this style of racing. He's going to be tough to keep up with. That's that's why I said remotely close will still be good. <laughs> you said everybody's going to watch what he does. Well, Josh wanted to watch really closely, and he got right behind Shane. Hopefully this will help Josh learn and pick up his speed. And Josh was top 10 last week at Portland. All three college cars finished in the top 10 on the road course in Oregon. All three of their cars top 15 a couple of weeks ago at Charlotte. So they're starting to find their way just a little bit in recent weeks after some struggles out of the gate. Top five right now. You got Ty Gibbs, Austin Hill, Jesse Love, Chandler Smith, Parker Kligerman. Look at those drivers outside right now. Nima Check and Custer. So some really good drivers here in Group A that have some work to do as we go inside of six minutes in the session. And I love everything that we're seeing off of, off of Shane Van de Gisbergen's lap right now. Looks very smooth everywhere that he's gone. And, you know, we touched on the on the S's and uh, how aggressive it is through there, Michael. I'm not going to I'm not going to use your your saying, but uh, <laughs> but certainly this is a challenging part of the track. And he has looked in control the whole time. And there it is. By a lot. I'd say now he can shut it down and be good, right? <laughs> Josh Williams following along was 12. Van Gisbergen is quickest. The team car, A.J. Allmendinger. Now he has something to shoot for when he goes out there later on. Coming in at a towering 12 inches. Sold out nationwide. And now, back for a second time. The Long Boy. The leading tower of Tasty. The ooey gooey kid from Subway, the footlong cookie. The footlong cookie is back at Subway. This is it. One play. This is when we find. Hey, quick question. Huh? Student body math proficiency. Would we say it's good, fair, satisfactory? Mm -hmm. Like a percentage, if you had to guess. Get out, Get out, out of here, here man. Understood. Hey, grab it. Great student teacher ratio. Mercy! We bring you the real in-depth school info. What were you thinking? I don't know. I don't know. Ding dong. Homes.com. And they're all coming? Those who are still with us. Yes. Oh, Smith up. What's this? Your wings. Light them up. Gentlemen. It's a beautiful day to fly. This 
June. Drop what you're doing for the summer of stars. Because we're serving up Copa America and the Euros. Germany versus Scotland. Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Qualifying underway here in Sonoma for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and there's a whole lot going on down in the infield. Maybe Cow you should sneak down there later. Yeah, Michael. cowboy up. <laughs> what these drivers are going to be doing this afternoon. I think you should get the hat that lady was donning. <laughs> Here's Parker Kligerman back out making another run, currently sixth. Top five advance. This is Group A. Inside of three minutes to go. Needs about a tenth of a second over his fast time to be able to crack into the top five. I'd say he picks that up, Regan. What do you think? I think there's a good chance of it. Parker been so good on these road courses, and, and I know how much he looks forward to him. And uh, Cole Custer, another one of those cars that needs a little bit of a pickup to get himself bumped back up into the field right now. And he's a little further into his lap right now than what we saw Parker right there as he's coming towards turn four. Some really good drivers on the outside looking in right now. Kligerman, Nemechek, talk about Custer, Ed Jones, top five last Saturday in Portland. On board with Custer. The right-hander at turn seven, and he'll get after it through the S's and back to that alternate start finish line, and we'll see if he can improve his time and jump into the Be top five. To run another one if you need to here. There you go. That's a nice that, reminder, huh? Like Stay the, in it. And like, that tells you how good the tires are and how the, the track just continue, continues to get faster and faster. Good enough to go to fifth. Chandler Smith is now below that cutoff line when it comes to advancing to round two. And if you're wondering why we have an alternate start finishing line, it's because of the where the pit road entry is. It gives these guys a chance to get one lap in and get right to pit road, not have to roll around the track all the way uh, for a couple miles. And you see Parker, Parker Kligerman starting another lap as well as he's down in turn 11 right now. The, the same thing that Jonathan Tony just told Cole Custer, be prepared to run another lap if you need to. Fortunately for Cole, he bumped his way in. Parker's crew chief, uh, obviously Patrick Donahue, got on the radio and told him, keep going. He would have known at the point where he could have called him off that they needed that extra lap to try and uh, bump their way in to, to make the next round. Nemechek currently eighth is back on track. Been a great year for the 20 car, Joe Gibbs Racing. John Hunter, one of three drivers to lead that machine to victory lane. Got it done at Las Vegas. Eric Almarola, the man in Martinsville. And Ryan Truex, second career victory at Dover. You know, I think you just got to, if you're Chandler Smith, Parker, uh, you know some of these guys are going to be able to pop up there and, and knock Cole Custer out. So I think if you're Custer, maybe if you're Jesse Love, you better be ready to go again if you want to make this top five. These cars are too good not to get it done. Clock inside of 30 seconds. You just have to start your lap. You don't have to finish it, right? So that's a, a big thing to point out as we see the track very busy right now, full of activity. And John Hunter bumps his way in, knocks Cole out. Puts Jesse Love in that fifth position. Time has run out. We'll watch all these guys come back and see if they can make their way inside the top five. This will be a big lap here. See if Chandler can get it done. There's the start finish line. Oh, Chandler to sixth. Still a great lap by Chandler to, to go out there and improve on his time uh, just a little bit and uh, gain one spot for later on this afternoon when they uh, get ready to race. Jeremy Clements, 11th, still on track. That'll do it for Group A. The five drivers advancing, led by Shane Van Gisbergen. Quickest yesterday in practice and the best so far today in qualifying. This will be a gold mine of local intel. Tell us about this corn festival. Oh, he got you corn pudding. So is it safe around here? Sometimes. <gasps> no eyebrows? Think of how light it'll feel in the summer. We gotta run 11,000 more neighborhoods to go. Ding dong. Homes.com. Before my doctor and I chose Brez Tree for my COPD, I had bad days. <coughs> Flare ups that could permanently damage my lungs. With Brez Tree, things changed for me. Brez Tree gave me better breathing. Starting within five minutes, I noticed my lung function improve. 
It helped improve my symptoms. And Breast Tree was even proven to produce flare-ups, including those that could send me to the hospital. So now, I look forward to more good days. Breast Tree won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. It is not for asthma. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Don't take Breast Tree more than prescribed. Breast Tree may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. Can't afford your medication? AstraZeneca may be able to help. Ask your doctor about Breast Tree. Tacoma, Toyota, let's go places. And they're all coming? Those who are still with us. Yes. What's this? Your wings. Light them up. Gentlemen.